Hello, viewers. You are welcome to the daily devotion on Gulf TV. Before we go into the word proper, let us have a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we bless you for giving us the opportunity to come near you in your word today. As we go into your word, O Lord, give us light in the name of Jesus. Let your word benefit every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank God for giving us the opportunity to consider the seventh lesson in our Sunday school this quarter. Seven is a mark of perfection. May I pray for somebody that everything pertaining to your life shall be perfected in Jesus' name. Our topic we have been considering since Monday is Moses is nuclear family. We have three subtopics under it. The one for the adult is use your opportunities wisely. That of the youth is don't waste your opportunities. And for the intermediates, be responsible. We have been considering various topics since Monday. On Monday, we considered use every opportunity wisely. And on Tuesday, don't lose your identity. By the grace of God today, being the 14th day of October 2015, the topic before us is provide for your family. Provide for your family. This is a charge to every responsible fellow. Be you man or a woman. It's a charge to each one of us. Can we see how the world is portrayed in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verses 6 to 8, I read. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verses 6 to 8. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead, while she liveth. And these things give in charge, that they may be blameless. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he had denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Once again, the topic is provide for your family. Want to believe that each one of us comes from a family. Even if you are a Mekisedek, we want to believe you originated from somewhere. Either you are in charge or you are a member of that family. You are charged today by the word of God, that you should provide for your family. And this specifically is pointing to a man, the head of the family, that as a man in charge, God has given each man a responsibility to make sure that he work and is able to provide the necessities of life for his family so that the family will be able to enjoy the, 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 the peace of God. They will be able to enjoy the provisions God has made available for them through you as the head of the family. These are started even from the Garden of Eden. When God created Adam and Eve, he specifically gave Adam the charge to tend the garden so that he be able to provide for his family. And on it goes, even till today, every man has been, has been given the, the, the opportunity that command to provide for the family. Why is this necessary? It is very necessary so that your children will not go wayward. It, because a lot of people today who fail to provide for their children, some of them are begging around, some of them are hawking, and as they are begging or hawking, they fall into the hand of the wicked people who will either initiate them into things that they do not uh, negotiate for. Some of them find themselves in the hand of the wicked ones and having their destinies either destroyed or dented. I pray the destiny of your children shall not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, the Lord is commanding you to provide for your family so as to foster this. You know, many people today are contributing problems to the society. They are saying eh, Nigeria is, is not good. Uh, whatever their country is not good, this and that. Who contributed to this? 
if your family is good, my family is good, then we have a good community. We have a good community. We have a good society. And so that this is the reason. God Almighty, the creator, the initiator of the family setup, is now giving charge to every man that you should provide for your, for your family. What are those things you need to provide for them? You provide them food. Give them balanced diet. You provide them shelter. Let every one of them have a place of abode. And also provide clothing to the, for them. All these are primary needs of everyone. Each one needs food. Each one needs shelter. Each one needs uh, a conducive environment to dwell in. If you are not, unable to provide this, I pray. God will give you the ability to provide in the name of Jesus Christ. For adventure, you are jobless. This is not the arrangement of God. You can still find something to do. If you believe this is a command for you, this is a charge of God, it's a responsibility God has given to you. Therefore, you have to follow it. Even if you don't have any job doing now, pray to God. He will make a way for you. Does this exempt women? No. If you see the passage we read, he started, the passage started even with the women. That those people that gave themselves to pleasure, those, those, those people who derive pleasure in all those uh, funny, funny things, in the uh, 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 kind of gratification, they are dead. Why is he alive? Being dead means ir irresponsibility. If you are responsible, you are, not de you are not dead. So if you want to be alive, don't give yourself to pleasure. Support your husband so that there will be adequate provision in your home and in your family. I pray God Almighty, we bless you to be able to do this together in the name of Jesus Christ. Our point of emphasis today says, he who does not provide for his family is even worse than unbelievers. Unbelievers means infidels. If you want to be worse than unbelievers, join hand together in your family to provide for the members of your family. And as you do so, the living God will bless you and make your family a paradise on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Shall we pray? Father Jehovah, we bless you, Lord, today for giving us this opportunity to read your word. And we pray that you help us, O oh Lord, to continue to supply, O oh Lord, for our, uh, to provide for our families in the name of Jesus. Meet all the needs and provide job for the jobless. Give the ability for those who are unable. Thank you, blessed Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. God bless you for being there to listen to this program. And peradventure, you have a question, comment, or contribution. We want you to please follow the, the lines in, uh, as displayed in this program on the, on the screen. And also, if you want to, you need the text for this uh, charge, you can also follow the link as being displayed on the screen. God bless you for joining us, same time, same station tomorrow. You are blessed.